First, tonight for the third year in a row, a vigil for Kayla Fannin, a Peoria woman who was killed due to domestic violence on Valentine's Day in 2019. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Welp. Our Sheridan Herdig went to the vigil tonight and shares why the vigil is so important for Kayla's family. Sheridan. Ex-boyfriend in 2019, despite calls made to the police the day before. Her family now shares her legacy each year and raises awareness for domestic violence victims. Purple balloons flying high for Kayla Fannin in front of the home she was murdered in. Remembered by her four children and family, even three years later, Kayla's legacy lives on in Peoria. We come down here every year to show our support for her and to get the community kind of involved. To not let domestic violence be still an issue in our community. Her family says she was a kind-hearted woman going out of her way to help others. She didn't have a lot, but she was willing to help anyone that needed help. By holding a vigil for Kayla each year, her family hopes to raise awareness about the impact of domestic violence. Just trying to make um, people aware that if they're in that situation, they need to seek help. Domestic violence is not forgotten that it is a real problem, the real injustice in our community and all communities from the poor to the rich. It's an issue everywhere. Valentine's Day now holds a new meaning for the Fannins. Right now it's it's bittersweet. You know, it's the love of for my wife, but then the day I lost my niece. But every February 14th is an opportunity for the family to come together and celebrate her life. I want to keep her memory alive. That's important. It's important for me. Kayla's aunt, Marnie Rora, adopted three of Kayla's four children, the fourth with the father. She says while it's difficult to be reminded of what happened to Kayla three years ago every day, she's thankful to be able to take care of Kayla's children. Mark.